with Rusty. Welcome to my for the survival tips for the woods. Now, first of all, you need to know your surroundings. Right here, this is heartwood, and we have here surrounded by rings of barks. Many of yours, there are many of barks, um, and varieties of all sorts. Some barks are edible. Right here is uh, the heartwood, then here's the barkwood, surrounded by xylem, which makes water, and phloem, which condenses nutrients. Um, first of all, you gotta know your barks. Second of all, I'll show you some more on the forest. That way it'll be better. Hey okay, kids. Second of all, if you're traveling through the woods, you need to overcome obstacles. There are many obstacles in the woods, and such as these, uh, rock bridges. Um, some rock bridges do contain trolls, so make sure to watch out for trolls and oncoming vehicles. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now we continue. Okay, when you come on, just make sure you have a steady platform for your first foot. Then, step up with your second foot right there, right where the spot's supposed to be. Then, you want to move out your arms as to stabilize the equalizing balance. If you and your companion should come across a bridge such as this one, make sure that the other side is not very large in case you need to fall off. This, in this case, it's a bad example because this side is a very, uh, very high drop-off. So make sure that you, that you don't stand on the side that is, has the drop-off like this. Oh, gee! <laughs> okay, kids. Sometimes when you're looking through the woods, you'll overcome a stone bridge such as uh, this one right here. Um, um, camera, uh, sometimes when um, going by a stone bridge, stone trolls are lurking under the stone bridges. If a rock happens to be thrown at you by a stone troll, fake dead. Fake dead. Jesus! Oh, God! traveling through the woods, you're going to want to find a stick that is probable and meets all of the qualifications to be a good walking stick. Um, if I could find a walking stick, oh, oh, jeez, found one. Um, you want to make sure the walking stick can support your weight. So, uh, the best way to do that would probably be to do the head test, as I like to call it. Um, most sticks are made of good barks, but some sticks aren't. So, um, you're going to want to hit the stick on the cranium of your head very hard to see if it breaks. As you know, the cranium is very hard, so I'm performing the test. Okay. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. This is a good stick. Maybe you shouldn't do the cranium test because it kind of hurts. But otherwise, it's a good stick. Okay. Sometimes you come across obstacles such as gaps. Um, gaps are very big obstacles in which you can't necessarily run across. So what you want to do, find a good platform, good safe platform to start off at, find your walking stick, and jump the gap. Just use your walking stick as a brace to slide up the gap. Sometimes when you're walking through the woods, you'll get hungry. As you know, all humans get hungry. Um, a good way to find a food source in the woods is fish. And a good way to get fish is harpooning. And um, back when I was a kid, I played RuneScape a lot. And in RuneScape, they showed you how to harpoon a fish with a stick. Like just kind of search over the water, find a fish. Find a f oh, fish jump! Got it! Okay, kids, I've sent uh, an elite member of my filming crew to go find some sticks. His name's Alfred. Good job, Alfred. That's a good one. Keep up the hard work. Oh. Okay, Alfred. For building a bridge, first off, we're going to need to heave the big stick to the other cross to start to dam the water. <laughs> there you go. Stand there. Right, stand there. Scoot up a little bit. All right, Alfred, on three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> I 
successful throw if you do say so myself. Nice throw, man. Thought. My name's Alfred. Ah, the bridge is complete. Alfred, right here, name's Alfred, is going to test the bridge. Careful, Alfred. <laughs> Alfred. You got this, Alfred. Don't fall. Here, step on the stick to your left. There you go. Nice and easy now, Alfred. Careful. Step on the support log in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, as you can see, the first attempt was not successful, but if you remember back to earlier in the video, I suggested that uh, when uh, overcoming obstacles, you plant your front foot in a steady platform and use a walking stick. So, Alfred, attempting on his way back, not getting wet. Good job, Alfred. See what you can do. Careful. Plant the foot, plant the stick. Oh, I know what to do. I'm an assistant survival guide helper. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Careful, Alfred. Alfred, step to the stick submerged to your left. Go, Alfred, hurry! Oh. Alfred successfully crossed the bridge. Good boy, Alfred. Good boy. Good boy, Alfred. <laughs> Alfred. Um, excuse me. Alfred's a little bit weird. Play nice now, Alfred. Smeagol. <laughs> Here, he's, he's a squirrel. Okay. Um, in conclusion, next time you're in the woods, I'll remember some of our survival tips of our video. And, um, Alfred and me, I say, had a very successful day. So, have, um, uh, may you be successful in all of your challenges. This is ground control.